That uh, will be a huge memory in life and uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, see all these still good players, they are not 20 anymore, but they can play football. Coming back from 2-0 two, two down, great. Uh, and it's great to win the game, of course, but I, I think the big winner today is the money they raise, the public, 60,000 people coming, the atmosphere, fantastic, all of it. And he looks extremely fit. <laughs> then what was that the moment like coming out at the start and hearing all the applause for you and, and being on the touchline and you never walk along the same? It's crying. It's beautiful, of course. And uh, to sit on a bench for Liverpool, that's been my dream my whole life. So now it happened. And it was a beautiful day. I mean, all meanings, the, the crowd, the game, the players, everything. Fantastic. And thank you to Liverpool for giving me this opportunity to invite me for a, such important game. It's no points giving out, but uh, the importance of the game is incredible. And those players are coming from all over the world different, uh, to play this game. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Well, it's always a special to play at Anfield and scoring in front of the cup. So, even more today, uh, we know we are here to help the foundation, which is the main thing. So, we are all really happy to be here. It doesn't matter if um, we have things to do, always happy to, to help. It's the first time I can come because I'm coaching and normally I cannot fight the time. So, I was really looking forward and uh, also it's a special day for, for Mr. Eriksson, for Sven. Uh, he can feel now from inside how special is this club, so it's an absolutely beautiful day for everybody. Fernando, has it been an emotional day for the players playing for Sven today? Yeah, of course. Uh, w uh, I grew up uh, seeing Sven coaching the best, some of the best clubs in the world, and uh, England uh, national team. So. Even some of the Ajax players, I grew up watching them playing, and, and they were uh, a player I wanted to, to imitate or, or players that I wanted to, to play with, so I have the chance today. So yeah, it's nice to, to be back after. It's the first time I play since I finished football five years ago. Wow. So I'm not fit, trust me. I, <laughs> I've played everywhere. So I'll do my best to, to train every day and to be able to come again next next season uh, and do it a little bit better. No, you were very good today. <laughs> Sven, <coughs> yeah. substitutions were well. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, a game like this, everybody has to play. Uh, <clears throat> so that was done. It was not my genius. It was done before the, before the game started, that in half time we're going to make these changes. Because it's important, they're coming far away from, and of course they have to play, everyone. But it was good in the half-time. I think we played very well first half. We didn't de deserve to have to be 2 nil down. But second half, we played even better. So it was good comeback. Yeah. Fernando, what was it like to have Stephen play on the pitch with you again? You've had partnership, obviously. Well, Stephen Gerard is an extremely good footballer and he still can do it. He's fit as well. Not as fit as you, I think, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great to see all these uh, football players. Even in Ajax I knew some, some of them and, of course, uh, ex-Liverpool players. Great, 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 great. And I'm... Big honour for me to know them closely and to sit on the bench, see them playing good football. Yeah, I always have the, the hope to do it. Big things takes time, so scoring for Liverpool is a big thing. So I tried many times, I couldn't do it. At the end, I did it. So um, I'm really happy.
I just wanted to to score in in my in my first um, game in in Liverpool share after many years. I I did it and about the the question before. Yeah, we try that connection with Stevie many times. Obviously, we don't have the same legs than before, but we try. Uh, after 50 minutes, I was having cramps everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, I was. I, I have always the, the hope to do it until the last minute. Thanks to the, the boss who didn't take me out before. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I think he show he's doing great. Fantastic player. He's gonna be, or he is already a fantastic manager. And he's a really nice guy, so I have a really good friendship with him. I uh, wish him all the best. And, and we have seen him even in the Real Sociedad Academy when he started, he was doing really good things. And now you can see a few years after, um, he becomes one of the uh, most uh, or the best managers in the world. He's doing a fantastic season, not losing a single game. So the uh, future is bright for him. You're a coach at the moment. Um, you say you might like to come back next year. Would you like to be a Liverpool manager one day? Or not this That's a big thing. Uh, we're just starting, learning, uh, understanding how different it is to be a football player than a coach. It's a completely different thing. So starting from zero, trying to, to learn and to do the right step, one step at a time. And who knows? I'll try to, to become a coach. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, but talking about coaching Liverpool is a, a big thing. So step by step. No, not very much. And I think if you have the Liverpool shirt on, you know, make it simple. Move the ball. Uh, don't make it complicated. And uh, when you defend, keep together. And uh, 11 defenders we want to see on the pitch when we lose the ball. Uh, so uh, you, I, I don't need to give any team talk to to these players, they know they have played in the Liverpool style, mm -hmm. all of them. So I should learn from them and not the opposite. Sven, how special is today being for you and for your family as well? Because your father's a big Liverpool fan. He is. And he saw the game on the television. I'm quite sure about that. Because they showed the game in Swedish television as well. Now, how is it was? It was full of emotions, tears coming. Uh, it's been my dream club all my life. Uh, even when I had England, I, I was a supporter of Liverpool, but I couldn't say it at that time. It wouldn't have been <laughs> very good. From Sweden, living in Costa, which is your region, obviously. Yeah. Um, how does it feel for uh, you coming from the town of Sunne and all over Europe in football and then obviously <coughs> to Liverpool and doing this? <laughs> It's a good finish to finish with Liverpool. <laughs> Can't be much better than that. Uh, yeah, I'm coming from Karlstad, from nowhere. <laughs> uh, but it was very special today. The players, uh, the football, the crowd, in incredible. It's a friendly game for good reasons. And it's coming packed 60,000 or something like that. Can't be better. Pardon? It's, it's good to have seen a Swedish manager in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What, what were your thoughts as you were walking around the pitch at the end? Uh, well, it's beautiful. It's uh, people waving, singing, and good wind, and the, the, the crowd incredible. Yeah, I was crying a little bit. Sven, Emotions. How, how will you describe this day when you get back to your dad in Sweden? <laughs> I will phone him soon. <laughs> no, he, I, I'm sure he liked to see Liverpool winning. <laughs> but uh, no, nothing special. Sven, what's it like being in Jürgen yesterday? Yeah, the first time I met him. Uh, he, he, surprise, he came to the dressing room before training yesterday. And uh, yeah, he said something to the team and things like that. And, Great man, great manager, fantastic, doing extremely well with Liverpool. Can win in Europe, can win the league, Premier League, this season. It was an honour to, to meet him, for sure. Uh, you mentioned that you were a 
una en español. I don't remember if you speak Spanish then. I, I remember you speak Italian. Well, if I shall try to speak Spanish, it will be a little bit Italian, a little bit Portuguese, and a little bit Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but, see, sí, hablo. Falo o hablo. Te traigo el cariño del pueblo chileno que te recuerda mucho. ¿Chileno? Sí, de cuando dirigiste la Lazio, que dirigiste a ah, Salas. Ah, sí. Salas, sí, sí. Te recordamos y, y quisiera sí. ver cuáles son tus recuerdos de eso. Mi recuerdo Salas, que es grande jugadora, eh, grande uomo tam también, eh, muchos años atrás. <laughs> Pero Lazio, fuimos a Chile para jugar en amistosos, fue, fue muy, muy bonito. Y para Fernando, eh, hoy jugaste con un chileno que se llama Marco Sani, y hicieron un buen tarde a mi juicio en el segundo tiempo. ¿Qué se te viene a la cabeza cuando escuchas fútbol chileno a propósito de Marco? Pues con el fútbol chileno tenemos un gran recuerdo en el Mundial de 2010 y un muy mal recuerdo en el Mundial de 2014. Una vez nosotros nos clasificamos y ellos quedaron fuera y en, en Brasil fue al revés. Siempre un rival muy duro, muy duro. Eh, grandes jugadores que muchos han jugado en la Liga Española. Hoy con, con Marc tengo que agradecer la asistencia. Además hablamos ayer de que si él tenía un centro sería por delante. Estaba todo, todo hablado. Sí que bueno, lo conocía de cuando yo llegué a Liverpool, él se marchaba e hicimos contacto y bueno, siempre le, le he seguido. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Gracias.